Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to repair this faucet. Just to note you guys, I've already fixed this faucet. I just this is for uh, demonstration purpose, how to fix this. The main problem we had was uh, the water pressure was very low. So then we dropped this. As you see, it's the normal pressure is this one. And when it drops to this, it has something goes wrong. So the first thing is we need to check under the sink if something is you know leaking, if everything is working, check other faucet, if it's working fine. So how do you uh, repair this stuff? So the first thing is if you have a faucet like this, you just pull this and you need to remove this part to see any dirt or dust particles are stuck inside so how do you remove this one so let me show you so if you have this model uh, this probably looks uh, like uh, similar to delta i'm not sh very sure what model is this one uh, you need to remove this uh, top part so all you need to do is you need to rotate the, the top And then you need to remove the the bottom and just rotate and it clockwise and then this will come up. As you see it's the top part, it's come out. Now what you can do is just turn on the pipe. Everything is working normal on top of this one. So this is a little tricky as you see here. There's a plastic and there's a steel round and there's a small mesh, it's more like a filter. It took me a while to see how to open this one. I tried to open this plastic, but that's not the thing. But if you closely look at this steel trim over here, that needs to be taken out. But how do you do that? So if you pay attention, there's a on the side, there's a bit flat on the edge you see this edge and this side so that's where you use uh, you take a wrench and start turning it so you just pull it out you see this part it had a lot of uh, sand particles the small dirt and stuff deposited so what you can do is you can remove it separate this one wash it under pressure or um, the other way is you can vacuum also now there's a washer also here okay so now how do you take this inside part out you see this is inside here uh, need to be taken out so there is a you see this is a plastic cap on this one let's remove so you just pull it out and you see there are two knobs these white knobs we need to push it down and these are the buttons you know we want for the sprinkler and for the the solid um, we need to take this the white knobs out you just use your flash screwdriver and you just pull it out um, and then all you have to do is push it and press this the small knob on the top and it'll come out you see how easy it is yeah so this is uh, pretty much but there's a uh, other two parts that we need to remove it to clean up so you take a 
orange again okay this will come out you see this part yeah just clean it up if there is any particle deposited you need to clean it up and there is also a screw sorry uh the spring inside this one so this is the spring is just to you know push the knob here for the the sprinkler water okay to remove this is a tricky there is a uh, the white this plastic thing got up hooked up uh, with this uh, little edge here so what you can do is use this flat screw and just pull it take it out that grip body grip either side you can try first see now you this is open here and that's it and try to remove this guy just pull it out you see there's a small spring just like the other one other one had a bigger one this is a spring this is where it can give that that push back and forth um, yeah clean this up and you also see in this inside there could be some dirt sitting around uh, just wash it off or you can vacuum it uh, just clean it off use something uh, tissue paper or kitchen napkin just wipe it up wash it up so if you or the other way you can what you can do is you can hook this back to your faucet and just flush it out so everything will get clean so let's put this one back so this is how you remove all this part so now putting it back it's uh, easy especially this part you know make sure this spring doesn't get jammed inside it has to sit straight and this is not that flexible as the the bigger one so make sure you push it in and then you need to put this one there is an edge to sit this guy also Okay, so make sure this sits correctly. And this way, as you see, the both sides. And just push it so that it can sit. There you go, makes that tick noise. And once you have that with the other one, this one, and just tighten this. Once we have this, what you're going to do is we're, we're going to put this back. That's it. There you go. 
And uh, once we have that, we just insert this rubber so that it can sit on all sides. Okay. We are pretty much done here. Now we can put the screw. And take a wrench all right so it's pretty much done so now you know how to take it out and clean it out and put it back so we're going to fix this one back to the faucet all right so we have this now we are putting this back Just insert into that faucet. And turn this back. And that's it. You see that. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video helps in fixing your faucet. Bye.